Bitch, when I tell y'all the devil was busy. Bitch, the storm, honey. Bitch, it's storming outside. I told the storm. What you told the storm, bitch? Oh, yes, I did. What you said? Pass. Uh-huh. Storm, uh -huh. you can't last. Okay. Go. Uh-huh. Away. I command you to move today. Get out of here, storm. Let me tell you, I've been going to Miss Jan. See, I started going to, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Kim Burrell, but see, she was charging me too much, and I, my voice wasn't doing what it needed to do, but every time I would go to rehearsal, she had on new boots, so I felt like I was paying for her needs. <laughs> so I said, you know what? You the, talking about them long shoes? Right, but see, I had paid her six months in advance. I told her I'm going to let her keep three months, and I went to Miss Jan. Okay. And she got me together. Okay. I told the storm. Uh -huh. I heard it right there. Hey. Uh huh. Let me show you what she showed me. Storm, you can't <laughs> last. See, storm, you can't last. So I need to go low. You can't last. You can't last. <laughs> See, you trying to show out on me. Well, it is my show. Oh, well, girl, fuck you. Go ahead. <laughs> That's why the internet went out. Oh, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. ladies and gentlemen. I hold her in contempt for cheap internet. Moving right along. Right, right, right. <laughs> thought you got that straight for the last video. I did get the shit straight. You said you got a dedicated internet thing. I do, but bitch, it's storming outside. Bitch, yes. bitch it's lightning and storming outside. Oh, outside. you can't last. Baby, if I need you to escort this whole up out of this motherfucker right now. Bitch, we gonna have a good show. Yes, we are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupting, you will see this merge together, bitch, on YouTube, okay? I'm gonna merge both of the little the beginning with Donnie will bust her ass on there. And, I, and she, I'm not... Start it back again, keep on going. Well, what's, it's lightning outside. It's lightning. Storm, you can't <laughs> last. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Go. Y'all gonna have to bear with us. Cause Dedicated it, server. Bitch, it's storming down outside. It is lightning, <laughs> raining cats, dogs, bitches, and everybody outside. It is, it is, it's storming like a motherfucker. Oh, we gonna push through. We gonna push through. Redo what your happened? Redo your Facebook. Who? Undo undo your Facebook. What you mean, undo it? Cause I think it started a whole nother thing. That's all right for the girls still listening and looking and watching while we had these technical difficulties. I'm going to just but, sit here and look beat. But listen, it ain't technical difficulties, oh. bro. It's storming outside. Well, honey, just shut up and let them look at me, honey. That's worth at least, that'll buy us three minutes. Well, it said we was live. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not live. Shit, yeah, you're free. <laughs> if that's your boyfriend, if that's your boyfriend, if that's well, your boyfriend. We're, 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 we're not live, though. We're not live. It's still stop it. streaming on my end. You sure? We're not live. No, okay, I'm going to cut it off then. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, what is going on, Vincent? This, this, this is this is internet, total internet. It has nothing to do with the system, software, or nothing. Um, what is it saying? What is it saying? Output quality reduced. What is it? What is stream? What is going on? What is going on? I'm trying to tell you. This is this is beyond me. This time, man. This is um. Let's do this. If you're on the internet, come off the internet. I don't know who. who but it's nobody. It's not. It's not what because we we we. From the server, from the bag. So and this we're going means straight to the core. <coughs> that it is. It's hardwired. We're hardwired connected. It's not that. Uh, it's probably the storm. Um, let me get a good idea. If it's the storm, I can't. I really can't do it. Okay, let's let's see. Yeah. All right. On three. One, two, and three. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, you heard it, girl. Bitch, girl, that's a rumble in the Bronx. Bitch, do you hear that shit? So listen up, everybody. It Hold on, relax. We got to, um, you got to do it, because it's, it's it's not connecting. Look at that. Give me time to get this book out of my nose, girl. <laughs> <laughs> this shit feel like a pepperoni in here. <laughs> Are you being blocked? No, it's open now. Okay, all right, just not, okay. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it is storming. It is, hold on, on some serious shit. It is lightning. And, and everybody in the audience, I'm hoping that y'all get home safely. I'm, I'm not responsible, bitch. So y'all be drink responsibly tonight because, bitch, it is really storming boots outside. Like lightning and everything, bitch. So that was that damn rain dance show ass did. See, God don't like ugly. Like, like, like God damn it, he may not like ugly, but he showed love. Perfect. Then I fucked around and fell. 
Well, listen. Bitch, I can't wait to finish this shit because I'm finna sue you down. Oh, bitch, I ain't got nothing but $20 to give you. That's what they said. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you are here in Atlanta, then you know that it is storming down. You know, it's been storming and lightning and all this stuff or whatever. We're going to go, we're going to do the show. How we going to do the show? Bitch, if it carry on again, we just going to record the motherfucker. Right. And then we just going to upload it because, bitch, it is storming outside. So that's just what we're going to do. Now, if the bitch go off again, we're going to record the show, and, bitch, we're going to motherfucking upload it because, bitch, it is storming outside. And I done said this enough, so any of y'all fuck assholes in the comments with that bullshit <laughs> suck my dick and Dineva's dick. Bitch, I ain't got no dick. I'm a rich man. <laughs> Spill this bitch on me. How dare you? <laughs> I'm appalled. Now, can I say my part? You also a uh, punk, too. So, <laughs> You're not a pawn. You a punk, okay? So, I just needed to say that. If it goes out again, we're just going to record it, and then we're going to upload it because it is storming outside. All right? Let's do it. Now, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, for the audience that came tonight, there will be a live show in August. August the 6th in Atlanta. The show will be myself, at Tiffany New York Pollard, bitch, at Club Truth. We will be doing a live. So if you're interested in coming out to watch the show live, we're, we will not be streaming live on August the 6th because we will up, we're gonna we're gonna record it and we're gonna upload it to Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all of the places. Get your tickets on Eventbrite. We will be posting that stuff. And Donnie will be posting because I may bring Donnie back down to be my third judge. I don't I love know. You. I love to. I, I, I don't know. But Tiffany New York Pilot myself will be at Club Truth. Yeah. The tickets are gonna be available on Eventbrite or whatever. I'm dropping the link now. Huh? Yeah, it's already up? Yeah. All right, okay. All right, now, I, we kind of got thrown off a little bit because the shit went down the storm. God, let us let us, let us do our show, God. I told the storm. You keep telling the storm. Maybe I need to stop telling Yeah, don't tell the storm yeah. nothing else. Okay. They don't want to tell. All right, so let's move right along. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the show would not be possible to do if we didn't have sponsors. Tonight's show is sponsored by Lit by Choice. That's the drink that I'm having tonight, Lit yeah. by Choice. Um, please make sure if you order your lit by choice, you use hashtag Maddie Mob. And also, the one seafood bitch, you, you the know. One girl. You the one girl. You the one seafood. The one. So come on up here, girl, and give us the information on your seafood, you she know. She fucked that seafood up, baby, and I don't even eat crab legs, okay? But I suck the fuck out that drawn butter. That <laughs> shit was good. Okay. Uh -oh. Ooh, girl, oh, she don't see. Lord. Hazardous <laughs> working conditions. <laughs> Look at that. That's good. The one seafood, ladies and gentlemen. The one seafood. So, oh, honey, well, shit. I didn't know you were going up here. <laughs> All right, tell us, tell us what you do, and then you know we're gonna move on, honey. The one seafood. Instagram and Facebook. Phone number six seven eight seven five three five four eight six. Website is theoneseafood.com. Delivery and catering only. You cater and deliver only. Yes. Okay, well, I will be handling this on the, on the after show. Yes. We'll be eating this on the after show. So you can take this back and make sure none of the motherfucking black niggas out there in the back get in my mother. Because Dineva already ate his place. I did. I'm getting this crab meat out of there right now, honey. Is, is that crab meat or is that any something else? I have that crab meat, honey. Well, thank you, baby. Thank you very much. All right, so let's go head on and then get our show started. Make sure she get through here safe, Craig, because I can't. I'm already in Having two ball ankle bitches. <laughs> All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to open the show out with things that snatched our wigs this week. Did you also flatten her tires and bust yes. out her window? Yes, I did. Yes. Is this the window? <laughs> Did you flatten Wig snatch yeah, on TV. I used to, listen, I knew I was a sissy then. I was in the sixth grade. I used to run home to watch Ricky Lake. That was Ricky Lake? That was Ricky Lake's show. Mm -mm. That was Ricky Lake. That was Ricky Lake. That, that was, was Ricky like Lake. the most epic wig snatch on TV. Okay, bitch. Nevertheless. I, I, I'm not that old, so I wouldn't know about this. <laughs> okay. Now, bitch, the first thing that snatched our wig this week, child, Charlemagne the God. Child, Craig, can you run us this story? Yes. You want me to just run the video or you want me to tell Run the video, ladies and gentlemen. Run the video. Video, here we go. Charlemagne lawyers up amid resurfacing allegations. 
The Breakfast Club star Charlemagne the God's 2001 rape case is resurfacing according to TheBlast.com. Accuser Jessica Reed's mother, Jocelyn, tells The Blast in the past she was trying to protect her daughter from suffering, and she was the cause of the then 15-year-old's lack of cooperation during the prosecution. Jocelyn also tells The Blast they have started the journey to reopening the case. Since then, a petition demanding the host to be fired from iHeartMedia has already received 6,000 signatures. According to TMZ, Charlemagne lawyered up with Marty Singer and Michael Weinstein, who stated to TMZ, more than 17 years ago, Charlemagne was accused of a sexual assault. He never had sexual relations or any physical contact with the accuser and even provided DNA to prove it. Let us know your thoughts on this story by using the hashtag BETBreaks on Twitter. For more latest stories, head over to our website. I am Crystal Vega. You can follow me at KW Crystal Vega. And this. I don't like none of this. A a anybody who follow me know I don't even fuck with that light skinned woman, Charlemagne the God, okay? <laughs> Is it me or do she. Anybody. Wait a minute, hold on. Because right. I got to say my part and I'm going to get my ruling. Anybody from Miami or South Florida know that them Haitian women and them Jamaican women at the wash house put all that bleach and cream on their skin. Yes, and they that's do. what Charlamagne looked like. He looked like a glow-worn Haitian woman down to the wash house on 79th Street, first of all, first and foremost. Second of all, okay, I'm sorry, you cannot go file charges on some beat-up puss and then 15 late, years later talking about your mama didn't make you cooperate and you want to reopen the case to get people fired. I'm not for it. Is following suit with that Bill Cosby bullshit. They ain't trying to press charges at this point. They ain't trying to put people in jail. They trying to fuck up people's careers. So wait a minute, Daniva. I'm 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 conflicted right here. Whose side you on? Are you on Charlotte? Well, Hayes listen. Side? I don't like that girl, but right is right and wrong is wrong. And I'm sorry, the expiration on that puss done passed. Um, you went to court. 20 years ago. Right. You did, your, for whatever reason, your parent and guardian didn't allow you to cooperate, didn't want you to cooperate. Your case is closed. And your price is way too high. You need to cut it. Right. But basically, uh, right now, you need to. Like, you late. You late. And, 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 okay, it's 365 days in a year. Why you pick day number 321 to come out with this bullshit? Why not day one, day two, day seven, day ten? I'm not here for it. I think she just trying to be popular by any means necessary and jump on this Me Too bandwagon. Okay. And I think so. You was not gonna say bandwagon. You was gonna say bullshit. Well, I mean, I got to be politically correct because I don't want neither one of our channels to get snatched. Bitch, <laughs> 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 working honest, but it pays my bills. That's right. So I, I'm not here for this. I, so I you, moved to dismiss the case. You moved to dismiss I the case. I moved to again? dismiss the case. I'm with you on that. So are we all? Uh, is the jury down for dismissal against Charlemagne, the ever living goddess? Just me. No. Case dismissed. What you mean no? Who said no? Keep going. Right. <laughs> case dismissed. No, we need to bring up those bleaching creams on charge. Okay, okay. Well, listen. First listen, of all, we know it's that. We know it's Ambi, Ambi soul. Uh, uh, baby, he know what your old nasty oh, Haitian oh. voodoo priest is being. <laughs> 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 That, that bleach of cream got a spell on it, honey. Baby, don't lift but, his, but, but here's the thing that killed me with Charlemagne. He tried to come off like he's just so thug, so hard, so man, so macho, and you so womanly with what you're doing with your face. Quarter key and my womanly coming back from St. Troy, first lady to pass the Troy. Even I'm a bleached up boy. Is that a ride from where? Well? That's Pastor the Troy. Help me, Rhonda. Because I'm the realest bitch. I'm a... Oh, Religion and reality. Mind. Fuck that dumb shit. shit. It, it ain't nothing to a casualty. <laughs> FBI be after me. Quarter key and my woman Lee. No <laughs> worry. <laughs> Am I woman Lee? I'm not that hood. I don't know what you talking about. Am I woman Lee? I'm not from the projects in Miami. Nevertheless, that's where he got that bleaching cream from. That. Now, you know what? Um, hold on. My coworker at the DA said they just bring him up on some more charges. What's the charges? Be? Impersonating a light skinned woman. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> this is an emergency case. Bitch, so what we gonna do? We need to do something. Guilty of fraud, bitch. Or skin fraud. Skin fraud. Don't make me put my hair in a rubber band. Now see, I don't know that. City girl. City girl. Oh, oh bitch. Girl. How you gonna be for 305 and they fuck with the city girl up like that, bitch? Period. I'm 34 years old. Moving right along to the next thing. <laughs> All right, so we, so, so. Oh, this was right on time. This right on, oh, shit. <laughs> this was right on time. So speaking of skin bleaching, we gonna bring, girl, they bring it. Little Kim is up on charges of bankruptcy fraud. They say this woman is trying to save her house. But listen, I need to.
know is her lawyer in the building because I think that her priority is in the wrong place. Instead of trying to save her house, she needs to be trying to save her career. But that's not what's on the docket, so we're going to talk about the house. What's going on? Well, I mean, she's going from, uh, from we, sources has told us, like, uh, that she's trying to save her, go from chapter 11 to chapter 13 mm. in her bankruptcy or whatever to save, to save her house. So you know? 13 is wipe all the debt, right? And 11, ghetto people out there, which one yeah, way? Listen, she asked the court to convert her case from a chapter 13, excuse me, from a chapter 13 to a chapter 11 so that she could reorganize her debts and told the judge that she will fork over adequate protection payments to the mortgage company to save her home throughout the bankruptcy process. See, now this is the shit that get me with these folks in these bankruptcies, right? When your money ain't coming in like it used to, sometimes you just gotta move. It ain't about moving. Sometimes you just don't, you, sometimes you don't hold on that bitch. Balenciaga booze. Now wait, now they don't got me all on the internet for moving, bitch. You know, a bitch like me don't mad moving. <laughs> 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 bitch, when my money get funny, bitch, I do what? I move, okay? <laughs> Sometimes you just need two or three months off from the rent payments so you can get back ahead on the mortgage payments. Well, I heard that, no, I heard that you had offered you a space in the side of a, uh, a vehicle. Child, they said I stay here. <laughs> Girl, I got on my thing. One of them said I stay here, honey. Well, listen, it's okay if you did. It's well, a room here. Never the, yeah, nevertheless, we're not talking about me. We're talking about Lil' Kim. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think that we should probably put her in a pre-trial diversion program and we could potentially help her save her home if she would be willing to do a joint album with Lauren Hill. What? Both of them need work. The first half could be Lauren Hill, the second half could be Lil' Kim. They both look crazy as hell. They both look unhappy. They both trying to save their home, so help us help them. Wait, when Lauren Hill get put out of the house? She did where she ought where she bought to. Girl, you didn't see the docket for next week? No, girl. <laughs> the 30 day notice just ain't passed yet, but girl, she coming up. <laughs> now, you know Sony had to bail that woman out, and she out here giving y'all these crazy concerts trying to make ends meet. Well, listen, but well, here's who? Lauren. Lauren. Well, look, him need to be. Look, him just got so many things going on. I love Lil' Kim. I understand, understand that, but what's love got to do with it? This is what I need. <laughs> Baby, I'm Judge Judy, and I'm real tough. I'm going to need Lil' Kim to pick a struggle. Is it going to be your skin color, your esteem, your weight, your finances, your career, or your home? I'm going to need you to pick one. But she, she picked D, all of the above. No, baby, that's not on the list. And she going to mess around and lose all of the But she already lost herself. She already lost her career. And you right here talking about you love her, but you the one who played that song. Yeah, the song. What it's called? Child, she got the nerve. She thinks she's Sean Paul. Now she, she's so damn white, she thinks she's Sean Paul because she did a reggae song. And one time for the nastiest one. Nastiest one. Nasty. One time. Hey, yeah. one time for the nastiest one. Do nastiest we got that queued up? Yeah, do we got Fred, it Can we get that? Can we get we go listen, you know one thing about the Queen Supreme Court, we have everything here. We're gonna play that from our record play our record player. <laughs> okay. We're gonna play our new little Kim from the record player. Now, it's supposed to be plugged up down there, child, but y'all ain't got it plugged up down there, honey. Hold listen on. Listen to this bullshit. No. We gotta, what we're going to do, we're going to listen to it in-house so that, therefore, um, we're going to turn it off for the, for the folks out there so can hear it, and then we're going to listen to it in-house. Ready? You ready? Is All it? Right.
All right, so listen. With that so being said, there's about- been some new evidence presented. With that being said, I don't think with that type of music she's going to be able to make any type of payments. So I move <laughs> that we speed up the process and just go ahead and rule in the favor of the bank. Album. Oh, baby. She's done. She's done. She's done. Um, Capital One, Citibank, whoever holds the lean, y'all go ahead and send the sheriff there tomorrow because it's a wrap. Next case. Next case. Nas- I, nastiest one. Nastiest bitch, one. <laughs> bitch, they finna send a whole nasty movie crew around here. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Girl, oh, bad. She, she said she wanna fight me. Girl, bad. Who said they wanted to fight you? That was a line from a LaVarra video, girl. Oh, I thought you said keep, bitch, you... keep up, Margaret. Oh. oh. <laughs> Speaking of keeping up, Ladies and gentlemen, next up on the court ledger, we have Sissy Houston. Now, you know I'm finna wear her out. <laughs> Tanya, but then later, she's 137 that years old. That has nothing to do with me. She's 137 Go years old. Go ahead and get the charges. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Sissy Houston is being charged with being oblivious to... Uh, the fact that Dion Warwick that was fingering her damn daughter. It y'all. was her Dee Dee Warwick. Dee uh, Dee Dee Warwick. Who, is that Dion? Allegedly. That's alleged. Allegedly. Okay, but it's Dee Allegedly, Dee Dee. It's Dee Dee Dion. No, that's Dee no. Dion's sister. Dion's sister, allegedly, was, was playing in Whitney Houston Kitty Box. And she was and also. And also playing with molesting Gary as well. Jesus. Allegedly. 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 Do we have any foot? This they, it's just a beautiful mother and daughter relationship. They well, have to, can we get, get some the, of get that footage? Out the way because can I got some. Sometimes it feels like me and you against the world, and for all the times I cry, I always know that God is on our side. So when one of us is gone and one of us is left alone to carry on, I know remembering we'll have to do our memories alone can get us through. Just think of all the days of me and you. All the days of me and you. Don't she look like an old lesbian? Which one? She done said she look like an old Michelob, Benson and Head smoking lesbian, okay? I don't give a good goddamn with nobody. First of all, before we get to the charges, let me just get this bitch together retroactively. I don't give a good goddamn with nobody say it's Sissy Houston's fault that Whitney Houston is dead. Whitney Houston was a lesbian and she was bisexual and everybody knew it. And that mama was so strict on her in that church, she wouldn't allow that woman to live her truth. I don't give a good goddamn with nobody say that's the truth. Truth and that's all in it. Mm-hmm. Then on top of it, she had the biggest sissy in LA who was hiding his sexuality, got behind her, Clive Davis, and made her try to hide her sexuality even more. <laughs> that woman was happy when she had Robin. Robin, she was a good man, Savannah. Robin <laughs> was a good man to Whitney Houston. Then on top of that, Sissy Houston, after that woman don't die, had the nerve to get her ornery ass on TV with another lesbian, Oprah Winfrey, and when both of sat up there and asked that woman, how would you have felt if you knew your daughter was gay? Turn I wouldn't have liked it. All the while, you sitting up there with that lesbian hairdo looking like you was eating Aretha Cooch for lunch and your family members around here tweedling in her puss. I don't respect her. I don't like her. And I believe she is one of the main causes of her daughter's unhappiness. Now, anything she got to say in that statement, I'm not even interested in. But I need to say what she had to say. Now, the gag is that I personally, I feel like it's Pat Houston. Oh, hold on. I got to look for her, too. Well, let's get the statement for Sissy. Sissy Houston's statement says, we cannot overstate the shock and horror we feel and the difficulty we have believing that my niece, Dee Dee Warwick, molested two of my three children. Sissy said in a statement on behalf of herself and Dion. The statement acknowledged that the situation is tough because neither Whitney nor Dee Dee are here to deny, refute, or affirm. How can that be fair to my daughter, to Dee Dee, to our family? 
Now, my thing is, bitch, y'all didn't know that this goddamn documentary was coming out. From my understanding, didn't they know that the documentary, mm-hmm. didn't, they, didn't they write off on the documentary? Mm-hmm. So what is this? Is, it, is this all a publicity, publicity they start? This part was coming out. Oh, oh, well, okay, well, bitch, somebody need to be sued. But here's the thing, Dee Dee and Whitney ain't here, but Gary is. And Gary said Dee Dee also touched him, too. That's what you Gary what said. So if the litmus test is somebody being alive to vouch for the allegations, then Gary is alive to vouch for his experience. And I'm going to tell you something. I believe every single word, every word I believe. And on top of that, since you ought to be ashamed of your damn self, that you loved your daughter in such a way she was too damn distant from you to be able to tell you what the fuck was going on down to y'all family. And that's how I feel. You and me, it's me and you, concept. you and me. Now, Poor Pat Houston ass up. Well, Pat Houston, she already up Well, Pat there. all in the mix, too, and I'm going to tell you something. Affair with Pat. Yeah, listen, hold on. Hold on. Now, I don't understand how they all had these. Who had affairs? affair? You know sis was over there riding, riding past the James <laughs> Dick no, in the back of the pew. No, I thought she was riding Aretha. She was riding the pastor. <laughs> Aretha ain't got no dick. Aretha, you know, that she don't like? You saw that haircut. <laughs> <laughs> listen, hold on now. Seen this Whitney movie because they rubbed me the wrong way when they was going in on Janet and Paula and now this lady like Lonnie B said got a postmortem beef. With the hold on now, I got to get the facts of the case. <laughs> so Sissy, uh huh, <laughs> was sneaking with the deacon. No, the pastor be Oh baby, she high end. She high end. Well, listen, if you gonna creep, let it be with the man in charge. But nevertheless. <laughs> They said this down to the movie. Down to the movie. But here's what I'm not understanding. From the clips that I've seen, Sissy did interviews for the movie, so she didn't get pre-approval for this movie. For these people embarrassed her. But we don't, know, we don't know if Pat Houston slid any of this stuff in. Well, Pat ain't got much room to be sliding nothing in. Not <laughs> cool. Quiet as it's kept. Why you say that, Donnie? Well, you? because let me, Pat, let me tell you one thing. And let me tell you one thing. When I went down to Florida State University and got my degree in economics. Big screen. They didn't teach me nothing in sociology, but the school of hard knocks taught me a whole lot about drugs, and I'm gonna tell you this. Drugs ain't some shit you sit down and do alone, okay? Drugs ain't some shit you sit down and do alone. And I ain't telling you from what I heard, I'm telling you from what the fuck I know. While Whitney was sitting up there shooting up, smoking up, snorting it up, Pat ass and all the rest of them was doing it too. I don't give a good goddamn what nobody say. She was doing it too, Pat, you just didn't do enough. Okay, mm-hmm. and then on top of that, gonna try to exploit it. Let, let, let me let's talk about this while we own it. How the hell y'all fucked around? You lost Whitney and got Lil Gay Pat the money. No, not even that. You fucked around and didn't do your due diligence to keep Whitney alive. Then you didn't even do enough to keep the little girl alive. That blood is on Pat Houston's hands. And I'm gonna tell you something. Then you didn't even have enough decency about yourself to let the little girl rest in peace. You gonna go use her to make a reality TV show to try to launch your talentless ass daughter and your bald headed ass. I'm not here for Pat. I'm not here for Sissy. And the only thing I want to know is who got the money. Pat, you think Pat got it? Pat got the Sissy money. about to see now. I didn't even know any damn about it. Her and Dion over there smoking, bissing, and hitting. Right Nickelodeon singing. Um, you that's what me, friends were for. And all the rest of that damn you shit. You and me. Child back. Uh, so what we sent us is Sissy Houston to? Um, uh, felony charges are lying and perjury because bitch, you knew something was going on. And if you didn't know it was going on with Dee Dee, you knew it was going on with Robin. So we, if we ain't gonna get up, but with if Didi, you watch the movie, you'll see that Sissy was on the road and they left. That she, she left her three kids with with with. with well, then we getting that bitch for child neglect. <laughs> first degree child neglect. First degree, first degree child neglect. Second degree perjury. perjury. Okay. And third degree, being a Baptist lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> next day. <laughs> Oh, hello! Oh, and adultery. Mm-hmm. <laughs> adultery and fornication. Cut the coochie lips out. Let's go. Next case. All right. Oh, oh, child, here we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up on the court ledger, we have college Kyle. <laughs> Listen. We got one of them gemmers up there, Kylie. Here's the thing, right? about Kylie Jenner. So for those that don't know, Kylie Jenner is about uh, what a million dollars away from becoming a billionaire. The One young, million dollars? Uh, she's she got 900 million. 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 Oh, they did, the press came through and did it. Nevertheless, Forbes is putting her on the cover for being one of the youngest billionaires, potential billionaires. Here's the thing, right? On the surface, you got to give credit where credit is due. You know what I'm saying? 
regardless of how it was gotten, that is an accomplishment. However, here's the part that I don't like. And that self-made part, shit gotta right, go. Here's the, the exactly. Right. Because the issue that I have is that this story is being framed as if she's your typical girl whose mom is a school teacher and dad is a bus driver who pulled themselves up by their bootstraps and started some cosmetic business and overnight she's just wham bam thank you ma'am a billionaire and that is not the case that's not the case again she cannot help the family she was born into and she'd be a damn fool to not leverage whatever privilege that she has but i'm not saying her becoming her. a billionaire and, you know, Shanika from the Bronx becoming a billionaire is two different levels of accomplishment. Bitch, you better become a goddamn billionaire with all the resources and the money that you have. And I'm sorry, when you already start out as a 700 millionaire, then it ain't that hard for you to become a billionaire. Right. You know, I don't want to take away her accomplishment. Because but what did she a... accomplish? What did she did? Like, I mean, well, and it's no shade. Because I'm not going to sit up here and act like the girls, the gr- those girls aren't talented. Because they got some nice lips on them. And I done seen Kim Kardashian throw that pussy back on Ray J. That's talent right there. That's talent right there to take a long black dick like that, bitch. And then for Chris, for, for what's the mama name? Chris Jenner to come through and put that shit in the, on the shelf. And turn that shit around. Listen, I did porn for a whole motherfucking decade, bitch. Okay? A whole decade. A decade, bitch. (laughs) Fuck, fuck, got in the book. Okay? (laughs) Now, if they put me on the Forbes list, bitch, when I turn that all that shit around to make a billion dollars, that's getting it from the ground. That's getting it from the ground. Ain't that bitch gave me no 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 hundred million, one million. What Donald Trump daddy gave him? A million dollars. A million dollars. This this that shit don't. That, that's not getting it from the ground. That's not no self made yeah. bitch. Somebody gave you that. Right. Bitch, if you picked up a camera, if you picked up a now who self made in camera. the cosmetic c- cosmetic it's industry super is super, super. sick. Yes. Yeah. Shouts out to the crayon case yes. for being self made. Hey. Now that's some self made millionaire stuff. Self made millionaire shit right there because that girl started on it on Instagram, yep. Vine, online. You feel me? Right. So that's self made. But I just want us to be careful. But but you got to not knock. No, we're not knocking her because she did. Because here's the no, thing. No, we're not knocking her. Thing, but here's the thing. She did what the fuck you supposed to do if your last name is Kardashian. You know what I'm saying? So I will give her credit for that. Bitch, you better be a billionaire. But what I don't want is to be misconstrued that the average girl out there is going to work hard like Kylie Jenner and be a billionaire because that's not going to happen. And we're not hating on her. We just, we just, we just telling the truth. We just outline all the facts. That's just the facts of the situation. Bitch, you the Jenner. If, if any one of them Jenners walk out their house and don't be a billionaire, they're damn So then here's what we'll do. I think we're going to reduce her charge to a misdemeanor charge of misrepresentation of the facts. And we'll just give her <laughs> six months probation. But she's still going to make that bit. But here's the thing. Her fans are, are getting her to the billion dollar mark. So here's the beautiful thing and something that I want to talk about. Now, this is one area where I will celebrate her. People don't understand the power of having diehard fans. And her fans said, oh, yeah, she's at 900 million. They started a, for, for lack of a better term, a GoFundMe account for people to donate the money to push her over the edge. I need 20 dollars. Can one of y'all motherfuckers give me 20 dollars? And it's so funny because all her sister had to do was loan her. That's it. 100 million quiet as it's kept. You know what I'm That's saying? That's it. But nevertheless, you know, you've been blessed. She been, she, you, I'm not going to penalize her for being born into the family she was born into. Yeah, because it's not her fault. It's not her fault. It is not her it's fault. Not her fault. And she's just being However, we're not going to use those terms self-made. There you I'm go. just not going there for it that. Is. So misrepresentation of the fact misrepresentation that six of months fact, probation. Six months probation. And a year of giving me and you money for deliberating this case. Okay. Next case. I didn't want none of that makeup look good. They said she was blowing up the girl right. lips and stuff. Oh. Like, that's what they, I, listen, I don't make the news. I just report it. You look it up. They said she was blowing, blowing <laughs> up the people lips. They said that, uh, the uh, urgent care wouldn't even take the people insurance. For that. <laughs> 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 they, said, girl, they said Blue Cross Blue Shield said no ma'am, no ma'am. If you take somebody with that, we will not pay the invoice. You talking about the college gentleman? That makeup? lipstick girl had people lips looking like ass, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> ass. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> All right. All right. Moving right along. All right. We need. We need y'all to. Moving right along, okay, bitch. Azalea Banks, don't get quiet. What she, what she done did now? 
Because you know, every time she in the news, it's for some bullshit. I don't even, I didn't even study up on this case. I just rolled my eyes. All right. According to Azalea Banks, uh, Azalea Banks uh, went to Wild Wildin' Out, Nick Cannon's Wildin' Out mm -hmm. show for MTV, and uh, she was a guest. Mm -hmm. And Azalea made a post, and she said that uh, she cried after they ambushed her with jokes about her appearance and skin color. And she said, I've never felt so much hate. Uh, she said there were tons of pre-planned colorist jokes and, of course, cry... <laughs> I'd rather you read this in your words, because I like Azalea Bay. So this, these are her words? These are her what's, words. What's wrong with reading her words? <laughs> <laughs> Per Azalea Banks, I did Wildin' Out today. There were tons of pre-planned colorist jokes and, of course, Cry Baby Cry. Some little scrawny black Atlanta tweet prepared for me. They planned this. He hit me on short notice, told me I did not have to participate in the coon-ass freestyle bottle, not my style, and I was to sing my song and go home. I show up and some guy who's darker than me starts calling me ugly and being colorist. Then all of a sudden, a choir of the most distinct, disgustingly basic, local, Ooh. cattle call, urban pseudo comic, Ooh. fat because you sit in a chair all day, greasy, soul food induced, south of the Mason Dixon, <laughs> self hatred, ass backward, post Jim Crow, post traumatic, slave disorder, true self esteemless, <laughs> ward of the state clowns with their low scale and highly oppressive <laughs> resumes, start going off about how beautiful Azalea Banks looks. I never felt so much hate and rage for anyone else than I did in that moment. Yemaya was really on stage. Yemaya. Now, one thing I got to give Azalea Banks, Azalea Banks will read you, bitch, blind. And she will eloquently read you for filth. And her, the way she articulates a read is like no other. But, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Can I say this? Because I know you the, you the, you the judge. Now, I, can I say this so we can deliberate this right? This means I'm listening. I get it. I get what's going on with Azalea. I get it. Azalea has been in the industry. She's been shunned. She's been, like, things has, have happened against Azalea, which have, which have made her angry. Also, her, the upbringing in her life, things have happened against Azalea that have made her angry. And things in her life experiences have made her angry. So, of course, if she's at Wild and Out and somebody makes a joke or or they bring her there and somebody for the long period of time didn't want to read Azalea and they get her in person and they're able to, to, to chunk a read of her and the first read they say is that she's ugly, I, 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 I kind of feel her. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't there, so I don't know what happened. But there was somebody that was there uh, Jason Lee from what from Hollywood, from Hollywood a lot. That's my that's my friend. <laughs> and Jason Lee had this to say. Just got home from shooting season twelve of Wildin' Out, and I'm so excited to be back in LA. But with all this Azalea Banks madness going on, I felt the need to say something because y'all know me. I'm Jason Lee with the T. All right, so I was on yesterday's episode. I can't get into all the details because I'm just a cast member. It's not my show, but I'm not gonna leave you hanging. Okay. I can't say all the details, but I'm going to say it in a wild style. Ready? Here you go. All right. DC Young Fly cracked one Cardi B joke, and you called him a faggot. Then they switched up all the games because they didn't want to let none of us let you have it. Azalea Banks, your whole career is trash. And if you want a hit, let me call Cardi B and see if she got any more hits in her stash. How you even got on Wildin' Out was a mystery. And if I studied your rap career in high school, bitch, it would have been ancient history. Anyway, thank you, Nick Cannon and Viacom MTV for making the show inclusive of the LGBT community. You got three of us on your show. Season 11's on now. Season 12 coming. So here's my thing. So we weren't there. But from what I'm hearing that Jason said is that DC Fly Young said something. But it's a reading show. It's a, it's a show where they, roast, they, yeah. they roast each other. Mm -hmm. And I guess he roast. But DC Fly Young be reading, bitch. But see, here's the thing. Like, you know my favorite <laughs> quote is, you can't do wrong to a motherfucker and tell him how mad to get. Mm -hmm. 
okay? Right. Color might be your vice. You called that boy a fag, per Jason Lee said. Jason Lee told one joke. You called DC Young Fly a fag. Then he said they rearranged the whole cast in the freestyle bottle and wouldn't let none of the gay girls read you, okay? Because they knew the gay girls was going to let you have it. <laughs> I'm not even finna make this a gay issue. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be lenient. And I'm going to say, I was not there. I don't know what her experience was, and I'll, I'll never take that away from somebody. But here is what I will speak to. Your reputation and your track record, okay? Every time we see Azalea Banks' name in the media, the press, the blogs, it is never for anything positive. It is always about her being overly outspoken, speaking out against something that didn't have nothing to do with her, or playing victim to a circumstance or a situation in which she created Listen, the hard part about it is she just might be the victim in this situation. But she has cried wolf in so many other situations that it really makes it hard for me to sympathize with her because in my mind she is ingrained as a troublemaker. I don't want to hear it. I don't want her back in this courtroom. I care nothing about what she has to say. She Listen, she ain't just got ugly. She been ugly. It ain't got nothing to do with her skin color. And she's not ugly because of her features, she's not her ugly. physical features. No, she's ugly because she got an ugly spirit. Okay? She's an ugly person on the inside. And yes, she's hurt. Hurt is synonymous with ugly. What the fuck she need to do is keep her ass off for wilding the fuck out and take her ass to Iyana Fix the fuck out of my life and then come back out with a gospel album. Okay? So I want to give her 20 hours of community service with the Clark sisters. Next case. Is not living in vain. That's what I like to do. Okay, that's what... Yeah. All right, so we... But I'm still, I, okay. But she's not ugly, Daniba. Well, the beauty is in the behind of a hole, and I behold her as ugly. <laughs> Moving right along to the next case. Now, Daniba, you brought, you came here tonight with some cases of your own. I did. And, uh, what are you bringing up, uh, Monique? Well, I was home minding my business like I always do. <laughs> and my Twitter was blowing up. They said Monique and her husband mentioned me on um, their podcast that they're doing in her basement, okay? <laughs> but I'm also but I'm, in the basement now. Right, but started from the bottom, now I'm here. You see what I'm saying? But not started from the big screen, now I'm here. It is a different <laughs> directions. Nevertheless, um, you know, I tried to hold my peace with you. So let me frame this for everybody. Yeah, go ahead and move, because I don't want to tell whatever little piece of relationship y'all may have. I like Monique. Well, well. Monique is my friend. Let me frame this. Well, friend, <laughs> if that's your friend, if that's your friend, if that's your friend, she might be not be after tonight. Uh, <laughs> let me frame this really quickly. We got a clip. Somebody called in to Monique and Sydney's podcast in which they started saying to Monique that they understand that she's been done wrong in this Tyler Perry, Lee Daniel stuff, but they don't agree with her methods, okay? This person's sentiments actually echo a lot of what I've been saying in my YouTube videos over the years. Lo and behold, the person that called the show actually is an Atlanta publicist that I know personally by the name of Keon Moon. Ooh. So when Keon is talking to Monique and them, somebody in her comments says, that's Funky Dineva, or I think that's Funky Dineva. So then Monique says, she stops her husband and says, Oh, basically, I know what's going on. This is Funky Dineva calling me. Monique, I don't call basements, baby. Uh, nevertheless, let this beautiful being footage roll. Then I'm going to go ahead and render on this verdict. I understand. That, that's the only question that I would ask. Because anything else is now deviating from what you said, and that is when you give your word, oh, okay. you, you keep your word. Okay, well, wait a minute. Okay. Funky Dineva. Is that who we talking to? No, this is not Funky Dineva, this is Keon. Okay, Keon. <laughs> let, me, let me say this to you, baby, and I hope we can sum yeah. it up. You initially, when you call, you call on fire. Because I can hear it in your tone. Because I've been following this. Well, well, I, well, let me finish. And I, and, I, and I appreciate that you've been following it. And this is one thing Sid said to me. He said, Mama, people going to see it and hear it how they choose to see it and hear it until they see it and hear it. 
Not even, but she didn't say nothing bad. It was in her tone, and it was in that dip. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was in her bun. Oh my God. It was in her that dip in her neck and this. <laughs> All that. See, I interpreted that. And what I got from that was, oh, Sydney, don't waste your time. This is hater-ass, funky Dineva Carla. Because I have made multiple videos not in favor of what Monique is doing and saying. Now, I will say this. My Twitter feed blew it up to be more than what it was. And the reads that I did have for Monique and her husband, <laughs> I'm not going to give them all of them, but I will say this. <laughs> Monique. My love. <laughs> I don't call basements. But you in the basement now, bitch, with me. You can't be biased for one big girl and then be biased for another one. The difference is I'm paid to sit here. I don't call basements. And see, you pulling a Tammy Roman right now when she told Jen, hold on, because you're trying to backtrack your ass to better and cover for your friend. Listen, Monique, I don't call basements, but here's what I want to say to you. You on your podcast keep saying, what's the solution? What's the solution? You want everybody else to give you a solution. But let me ask you, Monique, what is your end game? At this point, you have made a fool of your damn self. You are the only person I know that went out there and get a husband who had no experience in management, and he managed to take your career from the big screen to the basement. When I address you, Monique, it's on a play platform. It will never be on a dial-in radio station in somebody's basement. And you know what? I feel like I've already gone too far, so I'm going to leave it at that. But just know this, Monique and Miss Sydney. When I want to address you, it will be on my over 201,000 subscribers on YouTube. Where I will be paid to start beef with you and make another 1,500, 1,800 a day on it and not call in to your show. Nevertheless, Tyler Perry tapped me on the shoulder in my last play and said, my hat is laid. How are you doing? Next question. <laughs> <place. laughs> so where are you sentencing her to? <laughs> to hell. Oh. Next case. I like Monique. <laughs> I love Oh, that was. I'm touched on the in the heart part. I felt that. I felt that, my love. I did. You stand serious about that, that neighbor? Oh, well, final judgment. Judgment for the judgment for the defendant. <laughs> All right. On a lighter note. On a lighter note. We're gonna move along. Ooh, Daniba. Yes. Shit, it, it was it got cold in here. It got hot. No, it got cold. Mm. Bitch, I'm from Miami. You mean? Yeah. You already know what time it is. Yeah. Don't make me put my hair in a rubber band. I don't know that. <laughs> Period. Period. All right, moving right along, ladies and gentlemen. Next up on the court ledger, we have Scarlett Johansson. Now, what are we gonna charge Scarlett? Well, well, I don't even know what this woman did. Okay, Scarlett Johansson drops out of a transgender role after facing backlash, okay? And she was up for pose? No, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> she was given, in, a, in an exclusive statement to Out Magazines, Johansson confirmed her departure from Rub and Tug, a film in which she would have played a transgender man. In light of recent ethical questions raised surrounding my casting as Dante Tex Gill, I've decided to respectfully withdraw my participation in the project, she said. This is according to T and Shade blog. You know what? I, I move to dismiss this case. I mean, I do too. I move to dismiss this case. I think that she did the right thing. I, and I honestly like Scarlett Johansson mm -hmm. because I've, I've always thought Scarlett Johansson was a very beautiful woman. But I do feel like that with all the things that are going on, with all the things that are going on in the world, Give transgender and LBGT people the roles. Right. Don't don't yeah. have straight people pay, yeah. playing playing yeah. our roles I agree. and stuff like I that. Agree. Give them, give us those roles. I agree. Because there are there are a lot of us out here in Hollywood that need these jobs. I agree. You know. Now I do. I, now playing devil's advocate here, <laughs> Dineva. Will this will it be a big draw to a movie theater or to a or a network if a trans? star, an well, unknown trans well, the, star. The thing, well, the thing about it is it's all about balance. So then all you do is, is cast uh, 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 Zac Efron as a love interest, or you cast 
you know, John Travolta or, or whoever, the, you know, the big, you know, fine white boy, the heartthrob is. Right? That, that's all you do. You put Sally Field in the movie. You put Let Meryl Streep be our mama. You see what I'm saying? There's ways around it, but I do respect the fact that she... Um, now, 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 let's not get it twisted. Let's not pretend like this bitch is so ethical and moral. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't until she caught backlash that she said, you know what, I'm rich enough and got enough other movies on the schedule that I can let this one go. Let's not get it twisted. You know what I'm saying? The bitch did it because she caught the backlash. But what I like about it, unlike this president and a lot of other people that we got, is that she's open to suggestion and correction. And when she realized this might not be the best climate to be doing what I'm doing, I'm going to decline respectfully, and she did that, and for that, I'm So she's free to go? She's free to go. She's free to go. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and with that being said, the show Pose has been renewed for a season two at FA. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know I'm on a Now, let me just put this out there. Um, my agent for the longest has been sending me, like, acting roles, and I've never been super excited about auditioning for my auditions have not been the best but Tracy Christian if you hear me and you land me an audition on this show I will kiss your feet forever in a lifetime there has never been a, a, a moment in time that I've ever wanted to be on TV so bad than to be a part of this show I kid you not if I was to land a cameo role on this show as a janitor <laughs> which I ain't even got bitch I will clean up after the ball I promise you I die happy. I will forego all my other dreams. I just want to be a part of the movement. Janet Mock, Ryan Murphy, FX, all those people over there who have just brought these stories to life. I thank them. And it is an excellent show, and I will forever and always go up for bowls. All right. I mean, at first I was a little iffy on it, but then after I got into it, I did give it an opportunity, and I kept watching it. It is a very good show, and I have been watching it, and I'm all caught up. And this last episode was real it was it, it touched home for me as a trans woman do you identify with the stories some of them some of them okay some of them i do okay i okay. do okay i do okay but i mean it's the first time that we've had the stories told like the first episode you can see my youtube video i'm in tears because all my life, I've been forced to identify with the skinny, nerdy character, right? I have to force myself to fit in that box, and that's just where I've always been. If I watch The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, I guess I most identify with Carlton, right? I had to force this round peg in a square hole. Pose was that's the first like time in... Girl, they said that about you, Forcing a square peg <laughs> into uh, this round, <laughs> round hole. Nevertheless, <laughs> you, you, she just totally killed my moment. Like, it was about to be a moment, and bitch, you nasty. Nasty, put some clothes on. I told you. you. Nevertheless, <laughs> Pose, we're happy. And I was about to say, but this was the first time, and I said this in my video, this is the first time in my 34 years of life that I feel like I have been counted like my life matters and like I look at TV and I don't have to force myself to find a character that I identify that I can be like you know what that's me all right it's all right let round of applause for polls ladies and gentlemen yeah. Yeah. all right we got some we got all right ladies and gentlemen moving on to the next thing oh before we move on ladies and gentlemen please this is just a reminder if you're just tuning in we will be live August 6th at Club Truth with this honorable judge, Tiffany Pollard, and myself, T.S. Madison, at 10 p.m. Um, so get your tickets on Eventbrite. We will be posting a link to get your tickets on Eventbrite. All you in the room, I expect to see you bitches there. Tickets are 25 for regular, 40 for VIP, bitch. Come get you a plate, come get you a drink, come get you some stuff, come get you some laugh, come, come mingle, come key, come have a good time if you're here in Atlanta. All right, so next thing we have up is reality chat. So, y'all, this is a segment that I told Maddie she needed to add to the show every week. It's the reality check segment where we just talk about what's going on in reality TV in a general sense. Now, listen, I had to get my face beat, my feet done, my hair laid, and a whole lot of other things in Maddie's back room that she don't know about. But when she watched them, she, she'll figure it out. Nevertheless, the Love and Hip Hop Reunion Part 2 came on tonight, and I didn't get an opportunity to watch it. I did watch Part 1, and I will say this. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, y'all have definitely made y'all mark on pop culture, 
on the culture, but it is time for one or two things to happen. For y'all to bow out gracefully or recast the entire show. You brought Erica Mena to Atlanta, we don't know what the fuck for. Mimi Faust is on the show, we don't know what the fuck for. Stevie J.A. made a hit, we don't know what the fuck for. It's just a lot of we don't know what the fuck for is really going on. Like, the only person benefiting from love and hip-hop right now is Rashida, and I'm not mad with her for pulling the Kylie Jenner. She said, I'm gonna pimp the shit out of this, I'm gonna make up a, a divorce, I'm gonna make up a baby, I'm gonna make up some stores, and I'm gonna make up some sales and sell y'all some AliExpress for $99.99, but y'all country as hell and y'all gonna buy it out of press as well as our cosmetics. And let me tell you something, work ain't honest, but it always pays the bills. If y'all foolish enough to buy it, and she foolish enough to sell it. So hats off to the girls at Love & Hip Hop who have made their way. Because the thing about it is, the show is gonna come to an end at some point, and then you have to ask yourself, what have I gotten from this? Carly Red, what you doing? Mimi, what you doing? Stevie, she who got you the doing? Maid service. She no, got... she don't, but she didn't. She didn't. It's it's um I don't know what's going on. Where the rest Arian ain't even there. Mama D don't moved again. You know what I'm saying? It's just like <laughs> damn. Every season Mama D had a new place. And y'all all talking about I got oh, evicted. Girl bad. Moving right along. I deserve <laughs> I deserve a solid and stable place to stay. <laughs> okay. Moving right along, the real housewives of Potomac. See, these my bitches right here. And Maddie, I don't know, I know you don't know much about them, but I just want to say this. Shouts out to the other all-black franchise on Bravo mm -hmm. that came through and is representing in a much different way from the Housewives mm -hmm. of Atlanta, mm -hmm. which also needs to be recasted. Um, Robin started out as my favorite on season one. Monique was my favorite season two. I think Ashley is my favorite now on season three because her contract is solidified and she was like, you know what? I'm no longer kissing you hoes ass. I'm just gonna give it to you raw. We gonna let the cars fall where they fall. And I think Candace is gonna fall on that same bandwagon next season. And last but not least, let's close this out. I think they need to recast the entire, oh girl, look at this gear. Girl, they Listen, look good. Yeah, they, they, they do. I'm just laughing they at Tammy because you remember when Tammy came on there like six years ago looking like a ragamuffin? She did. So I want to say this. For anybody who was watching Basketball Wives LA right now, and I've said this in previous videos, what Tammy Roman did to Evelyn as it relates to Ch uh, Chad and bringing up those charges, I mean bringing up those uh, domestic abuse stuff, and also revealing that Evelyn had done fuck one of Shawnee exes per <laughs> gen, that woman is hurt. And I tell people this all the time. The biggest bully in your clique is the softest person in your clique. And Tammy is mean and rough because she's got the biggest heart. And on last episode, I didn't see the night's episode, but when that girl started crying, I felt her pain when she said, all I've tried to do was be these girls' friends for five, six, seven years, and all they ever did was talk about me, and I'm tired of it, and shiny motherfucking ass included. I want somebody to get shiny ass the fuck together, just for GP. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just one of them things that you've been safe all season. I just want one episode, somebody to cuss the fuck out out of shiny. I don't want you to hit her, because shiny look like a bitch that'll sue you. But I want a bitch to throw a drink on that bitch. <laughs> I want somebody to throw a drink on it. And with that, y'all, that's the reality check. All right. That was reality check, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause for a even running through that real quick, <laughs> bitch. Bitch, that's your feel right that, there. That's, you know, you know, that's my bread and butter. Bitch, I don't, I don't really watch them. Them hoes boring and blow well. <laughs> I don't really know. And I, I'll check out with Tammy. Now, I do like Tammy because Tammy reads for death, and that's a fighting bitch. Well, listen, next time you get bored, you can watch Monique show in her basement since that's your friend. <laughs> I watch my own show in my basement. How you doing? <laughs> All right. The next segment on tonight's uh, court ledger is Mind Your Fucking Business, White People. Roll the B footage. Hi, fellow white people. Are you having a sad because that family's enjoying a picnic in the park while being black? Did that customer in front of you just speak a language that makes you irrationally angry? Well, this is a great time to try. Mind your own f***ing business. With Mind Your Own F***ing Business, you'll be able to grow the f*** up and act like a decent f***ing human being. Our patented technology allows you to pull your head out of your ass and see the world beyond the brim of your MAGA hat. Hi, honey. I saw some black people at the Starbucks today. Did you mind your own f***ing business? I sure f***ing did. <laughs> <laughs> 
Stop bothering those nice people today with mind your own f***ing business. Side effects may include not harassing people, no one getting arrested or murdered by police, a general sense of well-being for people of color, a lack of internet fame, and or trolling and coexistence. Please consult your doctor if you are still a piece of shit after minding your own f***ing business as the symptoms may be a result of a deeper problem and require further treatment. Now available at Anthropology and Whole Foods. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, one time for mind your fucking business! <laughs> like those kind of white people. Uh, you do? I like those. That was funny. Well, do you like these kinds of white people? First up on their mind, your fucking business, we have Renee Baker <laughs> Felina. What the fuck did Renee Baker Felina do? Do we got something from her? What is she? Yeah, oh, we dear God. Video. We got a video, you ready? Renee Baker Felina. Permit Betty. Huh? We got another Permit Betty here. Everybody. Let's, let, let's get her viral also. Let's get her viral also. Permit Betty. Yep, she sure does. She's got to mess with people that are just trying to make a living. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. Everybody can do this. Let's let's let let's let her go viral, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everybody. I know. There she goes. I know compassion is all. There she goes. But we just try to make sure everybody has the opportunity. Yeah, there she goes. Bitch, mind your motherfucking business, white hoe. And I don't even think she was white. Is she Spanish? First of all, the first thing she, right, the first thing she needed to be concerned with was that shirt skirt combination. <laughs> that's, that's number one. <laughs> Secondly, what I'm not understanding is, and this is truly some white people shit. Why are you concerned with something that is of zero consequence to you? Like, girl, all you had to do was walk to your bus stop, your train, to FedEx, to Starbucks, wherever the fuck you was going. Because they were taught to, 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 to... You know what I'm saying? Like, why does it mean so much to you to bother folks? Well, let's go on. Let's ask that question to the CBS, the CBS clerk. <laughs> That, well, well, before she we go, lost her job. she lost her job. Just Felina did. So, whatever this Baker Felina. But Baker, she lost her well, job. Well, 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 I got another question. Where did Baker Felina work? Yeah, go back. Let's see what she worked. Yeah. Where did, do, we, do we know where she worked? Uh, she, uh, she was an employee, a service. BD on Wednesday that individual no longer works on behalf of the district. This individual was not a direct employee of YBC. Now, I'm going to tell, tell you what I do like about this police shit, though. Because one thing about white people. See, black people will go down with you to the end and you'll be dead ass wrong. Mm -hmm. White people, you bring any kind of negative publicity they to find your shit, ass. you could be their mama. And they will turn and fire your ass. And that is what I'm loving about all these cases, that they calling the police on folks. But then two days later, we finding out that all these people is losing so their So, bitch, the job. justice is being served. The jerk. justice has already been served. But I want to give her a little probation as well. No, she don't need no probation. She already, re she was reckless in danger in the clothes she had on. Okay. That was reckless in danger. Okay. <laughs> bitch, she out here, her last name, Felique F Felez. Bitch, you don't forgot that you also are in danger nope. of being discriminated against. But I do want to give her a, a misdemeanor charge. Let me give her probation for playing on 911 phone. For right. clogging up the lines. For clogging up the lines. Clogging up the lines. Well, speaking of that, let's move on to the next place under this category. It's the CBS clerk that calls the police on a black woman. It's a female. She's wearing a green. Uh, Tell them I'll be here when she, they arrive. That I will be waiting uh, for them to arrive. Uh, a white. You can tell them her name dress. is Camilla Hudson. I have and ID and will share Camilla it. Hudson. And it's probably spelled C A M I L L A H. -E you got it exactly, like the river. Maury, M-O-R-R-Y, Matson, M-A-T-S-O-N. Now, you might not approve, Maddie. Girl. Girl, put it down, girl. Child, that hoe was so scared she was going to have a little a light seizure. You might not approve, but I want to move to dismiss this case by means of mental incompetence and disability. 
No, ma'am. That, that, that motherfucker. He didn't mean to call. He did. No. No, he, he didn't did. Mean to he did mean to call. He Listen, did mean it. No, that Parkinson's disease had not got in his oh. brain. Oh, that was Parkinson's. Well, it was either that or nerves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. I mean, I, I just moved that we dismiss the case. <laughs> No, we're not dismissing well, him. Well, the charge. His job need to be gone. I want his job. But I think they got him. I don't know if they got him. I want his job. There was, is there any update? But no, because here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing. CBS did a good job of hiring disabled people. And I don't want this to blow back on them. <laughs> See, you can't do that. That's going to get us, get us, uh-uh, that's going to get us in trouble. He's not disabled. Yes, he is. He was not disabled. Why was his hand shaking? The woman like that? said that he, that I'm he, not talking about the woman. No, the woman who he called the police on. Why was his hand he, shaking? She like said that he crumped that shit up when the camera came on. <laughs> so that, so that means instead of me being lenient and reducing the charge, I need to add a charge. I need to add fraud, fraud to it. Hello? <laughs> Hello, girl. <laughs> so what is we finna send this man to? It's two black bitches here with food stamp cards. <laughs> one of them don't know the number. I think she sold it to the other one. <laughs> huh? I just need my millery. I just need my mill. I can't. I can't stop it from. Something was wrong. <laughs> no, it was the fact. It was just the fact that you know. Oh, it was he, just too much racism just, going through. Listen, the blood. he had too much Starbucks that morning. Okay. And that shit had him. Triggling like that. So, so the charges. You dead. try to let him go. I want his job. Okay. <laughs> I want his job. All right. Next thing we got the white women carrying their target. Oh my God. God damn it! Don't you laugh at me. my money back. Yes, you are. Who you can quit for me. Okay. It goes to your debit card directly. It won't let us. Yeah, and it's already out of my account, and I can you show can you that you've already taken my money. So you need to give me my cash. And if I end up on YouTube, I will personally sue your ass. I'm just talking money. Yeah. Give me back. Give me my money. I can do the same thing with her ass. I'm not laughing, man. Yes, you are. You want me to show you on my phone that you are? Please. That you are what? Laughing. If we end up on YouTube, I will sue you. I'm not putting it on YouTube. No, I'm not. If it ends up on oh, Facebook, gonna end up. Facebook, it will not go to Facebook. You. All right. That is perfectly fine. Yeah, because you can't record if you don't want to be recorded. No. And let me tell you, my attorney, I love you. Don't laugh at me. I'm not. I hope everyone does your fucking job. Okay. Y'all need to. You want me to show you on my phone? <laughs> you want me to show you on my phone? You record me? Okay, so I need more facts of the case. My turn to love you, Bernie. <laughs> my turn to love you. You want me to show you on my goddamn phone and you record me? Man, what school you go to to become a turn? <laughs> What, you you what, think I'm something to play with you, motherfucker? You think I'm not gonna get down here? You want me to show me my phone? I'm doing my fucking book on you. I'll get right down there in my parking book on you and fuck you up. You don't know nothing about me boiling a coon rabbit down there in my house down there. I bought a coon rabbit and throw it in your face. I bought a coon rabbit with some onions and potatoes and potatoes and throw it in your goddamn face. Get your colored ass out from around and get your colored ass. Okay, so I need some more facts of the case. I don't. We don't know what happened. They just surfaced. Right. What happened? Dude, they just was, was carrying on. Do we know if the cashier was black? We don't know what's going on, but we was black and we didn't mind our business. Okay, well, he's saying, <laughs> so can us black people need to, some, some of us black people need to mind our fucking business too? Because, you know, my mama used to stay embarrassing me in burn ass. My mama stayed, for those of y'all don't know, burn ass is the Florida store Macy's walking yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, My mama would go to burn ass every Sunday. I got two, custom I got two Mr. Mita Charters. I got two let my hand go. <laughs> <laughs> I got two Mr. Mita Charters. Wait, hold on. Well, Here's was the thing. I'm I'm not gonna bring them up on charges of, of racial activity, but I am gonna bring them up on charges of disorderly conduct. In 2018, you cannot go in these people's stores and cussing folks out and saying whatever the fuck you want to say to people. Y'all ain't seen these videos on work like these people is coming back from behind these counters and tearing folks' ass up. They say, look, bitch, work ain't honest. They don't pay the bills. Fuck these McDonald's checks. 
fuck this hourly pay, but you not finna disrespect me, you or your attorney. Go my attorney. My attorney. I'm gonna get my attorney on you. Not man, to do that. You can't speak to people. Like, you know what I don't understand? Why do people think that you're gonna go out in public and get irate with folks and you're gonna get your way by getting loud? Because people don't don't know nothing about really getting their ass whooped in public. Right. They think those videos don't can't happen. But I'm gonna tell you something, and this is a final ruling from the Supreme Court. White people in this <laughs> racial climate, just like you can't say the N word, you might not want to raise your voice right. above a gospel song. <laughs> <laughs> above a, above a, listen. To any black No, 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 you didn't say that right. You may not want to raise your voice above a Janet Jackson octave to a black person. To any black, hold on, I might have got a caveat to To any black person working an hourly job. Right. Because everything is going up except the wages. Right. The people is stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> they already got two incident reports in their file. <laughs> and the person that was supposed to relieve them is late. Okay? <laughs> you are liable to get the living dog shit be out of you. If you gonna talk to a black person crazy, it better be a professional degree when they work somewhere with an HR department. Right. HR, not personnel. Okay? Right. Personnel is for Sears, Kmart, and Target. <laughs> HR is for the professional. The girls. And somebody that got a turn me. All right. All right. Okay, so we have something here about Angela. Right. Right. This okay. was a case I brought up. Okay, you brought this here. Yes. Let the beautiful being put this role. I just want to say, Congressman, like, I wish that there, the new members, the folks who have followed in your footsteps could at least acknowledge that. Like, that's all so many of us are saying. And at this point, I'm emotional. And let's fix it. Because we can't, we cannot, like, we're, it's, it's like being constantly gaslit. We're constantly being told, I'm told every day I'm on air that I'm racist because I call out <laughs> racism. That is maddening to me, and I'm crying about it because it's crazy. And I wish and that somebody who's a colleague of mine, like it. Alice, could at least acknowledge that fact. Like, that is so frustrating. We're supposed to be talking about a 12-year-old boy who was just trying to deliver newspapers, and the police are calling on him in Ohio, where Tamir Rice was killed in the same age. I want to be acknowledged and seen that this is not okay for our children. Hey. This is not okay for the future direction of this country. So I want to say, I commend you for saying what you said it, it means the world to me so for those out there watching let me frame what happened in the previous 30 seconds don lemon opens up by saying i don't understand how for the sake of saying you know oh i want a few additional tax dollars or i want you know legislation written in this direction or that direction that you can vote for a president that is racist and that's a bigot so on and so forth then the white woman who's on there, she's some government official, don't quote me, I think she may be a senator. She goes on to say, while our president has done some despicable things, he is the Republican candidate, and I undeniably support the Republican candidate despite any and everything he's done. It took the white gentleman to come on, who is a Republican, to say, while he is the Republican president, I don't support what he does, and it is because of him that many Republicans like me are taking a step back from the party, reevaluating what was going on. So Angela Rye then comes on and says, she starts crying because she says, all we want as black people as a collective is for you white people to stop fucking making us feel like we goddamn crazy. She was saying, thank you for saying, yes, I am a Republican, but this president is an asshole. Correct. The white woman refused mm -hmm. to do that. And then even after that clip, the white woman goes on to say she never acknowledges that Donald Trump is an asshole and she just makes apologies for Angela Rye's tears. Dear white people, <laughs> we don't need your sympathies. We don't need you to explain our tears. We don't need you to white explain our experiences. What we need you guys to do is put an end to your bullshit. Do I believe every single white person as a singular individual being is racist? No, I do not. I don't but as a collective, you are. Okay? Whiteness as an institution is racist by nature. And you guys know it. You know you benefit from it. And white fish, you full of shit. I can't <laughs> wait for the day when Angela Rye gets a contract so big from somewhere that she can get on CNN and just cuss their ass the fuck out one good time. Because it's coming. 
Trust and believe it. Now, may I ask a question? And this is going to, I'm always playing devil's advocate here because I am the judge of reason. <laughs> okay. Do you think they would go that hard for us as black, gay, and trans? Yeah, do I think Angela Rye would, and Don, do I think, are you asking me, do I think Angela Rye and others like her would go as hard for us as black gays? Is that the question? I think the answer is absolutely not. But hear this, before I'm gay, I'm black. Yeah, I understand you see that, what I'm but, saying? But, but hold so on. But this is, but, uh, gay, hold on. Black. Fuck so that. I have hold to on. prioritize but, my uh, outrage. I understand you. I have you gotta, to prioritize listen, my outrage. I understand you got to prioritize your outrage, but after you're black, you're gay. You're right. But this was a black so let's, issue. I, 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 I understand that, but I, I, I just asked the question well, the because I wanted the, I wanted the answer, and I, got, right. the, and got, the I answer. got the answer and what's that I knew. Yeah, that's true. And what's unfortunate is we are an underserved community, and because we're underserved, it sucks, but oftentimes we have to take support where we can get it. And Fuck all that. I'm tired of hearing that shit. You know. I'm tired of hearing we got to take support where Fuck we can... It. Well, we 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 gotta take support where we can get it, bitch. We we bitch know that we are gay and trans and black. But here's the thing, don't Mandy. exclude us. No, and I do. But don't I don't, exclude us. I, I don't want to conflate issues. Let's case, girl. Okay. Cause see, I get hot by shit. Like because this. this is totally <laughs> separate from that, and I understand you. And that's a whole nother argument for a whole nother situation. Okay, so after we get the black problem fixed, right? Right. Let's be let's be let's be real. Happen, after, but when, which is not. But after we get the black problem fixed, then it's just like oh fuck the gay. They don't gay don't understand nothing because we ain't because gay is just a choice. Black is was un was unchosen. Mm -hmm. This is what this is what the folks say. Gay is a choice mm -hmm. and black was not chosen. Okay, mm -hmm. I get that. But when you get it in your mind and understand segregation, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Biased against. Mm -hmm. Disrespect, mm -hmm. oppression, because you are what you, what you are or what you've chosen to be. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. See, we be the first. I, I, I didn't really want to get deep, but y'all, I told y'all, I don't like getting on these types of shit. They love we be it. the first. We be the first on the front line fighting in a black cause. Yes, but when something comes down with us, oh, this again, it's it's God's. God don't don't God, doomed, God yeah. this God dooms y'all God this God this God that you understand what I'm saying? I got a motherfucking problem with that. On, so yeah. in this situation, I don't know what happened in this situation, but the motherfucking president, I, I don't, I, girl, I you see, you see how you done dug this up? I get hot by shit like this. Well, you know, I get hot by shit like this, and, and, I, and Craig and I always have these conversations because like, Craig is a black man, and I understand him being a black man. My brother is a black man. Craig, my brother, can I get a cocktail? My brother is my brothers are black men, but at the end of the day, black folks don't support because it's supposed to, it's, it's it's against God and abomination. So, so my and question, this and the my, other, my, my, blah, blah, blah. my question to you then: Are you asking that I? Or we as a community withdraw our support of Angela Rye? No, no, I'm not, I'm not asking for no. I'm just asking them for to support us, us the way that we okay. support fucking them because we know we're motherfucking black. Support us knowing that we are we are oppressed. So and, what, and what you're saying is, let, let me help you understand. What you're saying is, they accept us when we're part of the number fighting the black cause, but when we need the black cause to help us fight the gay cause, they're nowhere. We don't have the same numbers. It's not the same numbers. Okay. And I need those same motherfuckers. Bitch, I numbers. said that, didn't I? <laughs> Bitch, I said that. Even pouring a drink, you yeah, said I that. I said that, well. Okay, I understand. We need those numbers, and until we get well, those you numbers... Well, then you need to bring the NAACP up on next week's docket, because aren't they the go to black people? I get Richard I mean, get Rosa Parks ass in here post mortem. I mean, what's going on? I mean, I got the shelf loaded. I can no, dig up. All right, then. Well, <laughs> that's okay. But did you feel me on that? I understood. I don't necessarily agree with your timing, but I understand your argument. I'm sorry. I just had to let it be known. Now, that was all in your chest. Yeah, it was in my chest. Cause I if I'm you stressed all in your chest, <laughs> that's just in the chest. That was kind of wrong. If you stress darling your chest and mm, uh, mm. The only thing I know about them as a group is I'm doing so 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 I'm doing hey, so 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 hey, how you I'm doing, doing so, 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 so 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 good 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 good, good, good. That's yeah. all I know. What you say? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing mighty fine. That's right. Last time I seen you, it's been a long time. Stop smiling at me. Get that look off your face. Don't even need a front. So I 
not being so vague. I know you do not let me in. You made it very clear. Always talking about me. From what I hear. Always talking about me. Copyright claims are being written right now by B.S. and Shut up. Alright, next up on the docket, we have the Clermont girls. No, the McClure. No, the Clermont. The and, and, well, oh, it's the McClure twins. The McClure twins. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, so this category is Shut Your Mouth, buddy. So, if you guys don't know who the McClure twins are, they are a beautiful biracial group of twins on YouTube. Monitoring my YouTube check, probably making a million dollars a year or more on YouTube because they have these videos. The little twins do the cutest things. The mom is Nigerian, the dad is white. And just to give you guys a little background on what's going on, the white dad has now come under fire because some nosy bitch who needed to mind their own business went years <laughs> back on Twitter and dug up some tweets. He took his personal Twitter account. And when his daughters became successful on YouTube, just converted his existing personal YouTube account to his daughter's McClure twin brand account. And let me preface by saying in his past life, this white man was a comedian. Let the beautiful bean finish roll. He says, mark my word, one day a black woman will name a, a child allergies. My allergies been acting up lately. Damn. <laughs> black people can't say ass, but they have no trouble saying Cadillac Escalade. It, hashtag if I was black. Hashtag people, hashtag black people can't say ass. <laughs> and there was a couple others. Now here's the thing. Here's the thing. Taken singularly. In this racial climate, that shit is racist as fuck. As fuck. Framed in proper context, the shit is funny. And I just want to play devil's advocate here. How many of y'all in the audience and watching watch Comic View and all the throwback clips of us saying, and when we go somewhere, a white person says, hey, Dan, how you doing? And we make all kind of jokes about them. So my whole thing is, if the car can drive forward, it has to be go backwards. Toni Morrison said it best. If you take a glove and turn it inside out, it still has to be a glove. You, you see right. what I'm saying? And so for that... And listen, if, you, if anybody knows that, it's definitely O.J. Simpson. <laughs> Ooh. With that being said, for that, I move to dismiss this case I'm because on that. in context, it was just a joke. Because, right, because I say I say white jokes, I say gay indeed, jokes. Indeed, indeed. I say black indeed. jokes. And again, I say fan jokes. in context. But what people try to do, they try to just spoon feed information to capitalize on the current outrage. The man was a comedian, and I see D.L. Hughley, <laughs> Monique, and everybody else make the same caliber of jokes about white people, and the shit is funny. Black people can't say ask, but can say Cadillac Escalade. That shit is funny. Bitch, you don't, don't ask that me that ask. Ask. <laughs> That shit is funny. Ask me what y'all want to ask me. Ask me, okay? But speaking of twins, Ooh, bitch, y'all catch this motherfucking tea, bitch. Yeah, work ain't honest, but it pays the bills. Oh, shit, obviously it ain't work, bitch, but it's still <laughs> paying the bills. Let's ready to catch this tea. What was that? Sinead Claremont. Reportedly arrested for 20K in debit card fraud. Let me tell y'all something. Bring it up. Girl, that's all they got was 20 rand. I say, no, that's all they got caught for, bitch. You know where there's smoke, there's fire. Oh, yes. Here's what I always say, and y'all know me, I make my living and I've made my impact from social media, but I don't fuck with Instagram culture. I just don't. We live in a world now where everybody does everything for the gram. The gram has we become a career. We used to do it for the vibe. We used to do it for the vibe. We used to do it for the vibe, because I damn so did it for the vibe, bitch. No weed, 22 inches, bitch. Yeah! They said you used to do it for the boulevard on the ass. Oh, no, that was a lot, because I've never set foot on the boulevard out here. Now, 79th Street is a whole different story. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I ain't your teeth. You telling my age and my teeth? No, you telling your age and your teeth. No, you just trying to tell my teeth, bitch. Nevertheless, I say this all the time. Y'all can't believe 90% of the shit y'all see on Instagram. These hoes on here so rich and motherfucking fabulous, but you about to go to prison over 20K. What they say, anything over, well, you would know better than I would, but anything over 5K is a felony, right? Wait, or 500. Bitch, Ain't that grand wait, wait, wait. Did this bitch just call bitch, me a thief? I, I went to jail one time and it was for a suspended license. That didn't even count. You can't even find no uh, mugshot. So me. how the hell you think I know about because thieves? I'm just telling you what the people said. Well, the people say lots of things, yeah, girl. They said you sold that stolen puss, so I'm sure you sold a whole lot of other stolen shit. <coughs> 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 oh, 
You went down the wrong path. Yeah. Heard that one too. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, what what do y'all feel out there in the audience about this? So I know any of y'all out there follow this case? Yes, guys. So what's the team? Fraud. Just get them sloppy fraud. Fraud. Just sloppy fraud. Movement. Fraud. And then let the girls grow up more. Yes, ma'am. Well, listen. Nah, baby. They don't reach that threshold. Twenty thousand dollars is a lot of money. That's a lot of money, honestly. That's a Miami girl. That's a, a, Miami girl. girl. That's a lot of money, man. Hey, that's, that's a lot of money. money. How, 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 hours. how many years money. in prison you get for that? Bitch, I don't know. I ain't never been arrested for no goddamn twenty thousand dollar fraud. How many? Much, how much thousand fraud you was arrested for? I ain't never been arrested. Okay, well, listen. I did a misdemeanor charge down there in Florida. How much? How much it was for? It was a Mr. Me. Oh, you look like you was about to <laughs> run to land. Pinocchio. Oh. You look you look like a run out the mall with jeans, girl. I did. That's what it was. I did. I was skinny back then. I was skinny back then. Fucking around and went to jail for some thread. I did, bitch. I was skinny back then and I could run, bitch, back okay. then. I can't do it. So now. how long you was in there? I ain't gonna for long. Let's, let's hold on, let's suspend this and make it a documentary. Not, well, how long is not long? I don't know. We're gonna move right along. <laughs> now, wait a minute. We gotta finish these old. No, because listen, they, we can't send us in the two months because they can't like, go nowhere in the month. 20 months away. <laughs> listen, they got a travel ban on them. Mm -hmm. Go back, Vince, please. They got a travel ban on them, girl. Well, they on their passport. On their passport. to me that they still under investigation and they going to find some more. That Baby. ain't all they found. A $650 flight is what they took. That's it? That's it. And $15,000 worth of clothes. But here's what's funny. Oh, so that's what they bought on the card. Okay. Do we got so any footage of them talking? So a 600 plus yeah. dollar yeah. fight. Flight. Oh, there it go. Bitch, we both burping it. We up in this shit. Who are you? Who are we? We are that bitch. No, you need to be like, who are you? Who are we? We are that bitch. Do that. Okay. Who are you? Who are we? We are that bitch. Okay. No, no, who are y'all? Y'all are shackled bitches. That's exactly who y'all are. Y'all are shackled. Y'all are the latest cast members of Orange is the New Black. Okay? <laughs> That's who the fuck y'all are. You a fraud! You a fraud, honey! Okay. All right, well, we gonna, we listen, the people already done said, what y'all, what, what are the jurors sentencing them to, baby, out there? What y'all, prison, that's all 20,000. Yes, bitch, prison, and I'm, I'm saying seven to 10. For 20 grand, girl. Bitch, you got an extra 20 grand laying around on your debit card? <laughs> I do. Okay, well, I don't, bitch. <laughs> you ran my shit, if you fucked around and ran my shit in the negative, I want you doing five to 10. Okay, five to 10. Bitch. Yeah, they All, right. All right, moving right along. God damn it. Moving right along. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg, and Dogg! Oh, yes, yes, Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg has been accused of cheating. Suspect mistress has alleged receipt. Why the fuck is this even? See, here's this the even thing. News down here. Why this even here's the thing, though. It's two couples in music. Show the receipt. That I don't ever want to speak on when it comes to this type of shit. And that's Snoop Dogg and Shantae. Who? The one that got a man at home? Shantae. No, no, no. His wife named Shantae. Oh, I thought Shantae she was Shantae the one that got a man at uh, home. No, no, no. Oh, uh, he always treats me right. We never fight. He sends me flowers and wines and dines me. Took, took me home to meet his mama. How he loves me. somewhere else and that's just true to you. First of all, you a goddamn fool if you think you married to anybody named Snoop Dogg that got songs talking about sipping on gin and juice to, to think that he ain't long dick somebody. Some people. But here's the thing though. Man, woman, it's 
And it's funny because when I made that joke about her going back to that black album, I didn't realize it was a perfect segue to what I'm about to say. Come on, let's do it. Mm -hmm. I think that we all know what it means to be and feel black, right? Mm -hmm. Being black, there's a spirit, even in music. And I feel like Beyonce is going through a personal thing of her own that has nothing to do with us, where she feels like she has somewhat disconnected from black folks and black culture. And I don't think this has anything to do with us or backlash and everything to do with her trying to fill whatever void is in her as it relates to her and her relation to the black community. All right, well, we're not I feel like this is what she's doing to absolve herself of what she had to do to become the star that she is. Okay. Because she did have to abandon her roots. You think about it, that first CD ain't nothing like them other ones. Right. It ain't. It was black. She and, had and, Luther on it. I am in love with you. You said me She said, um, I can't do this thing. Me, myself, and I, I signed in mm-hmm. December. Mm-hmm. Yes. What's the other one? Someone's, give me another one. Close I get to you. The close with Luther. She was black. And then something happened. Sasha came. So we, well, Ave Maria. You know, so I feel like this is her. I feel like this is her way. Sing, Maddie. That's right. I feel like this is her way of saying black folks don't count me out yet. Just when you didn't. What's she pretty about? I am. I fuss with any bitch that respond to a motherfucking me- messy ass hoe. Let her go. She free to go. Next messy hoe on the docket, 50 Cent versus Whitney Williams. Well, which both of them hoes That's is messy? That's what I said. <laughs> so we talking about Whitney, Whitney, Bartholomew, Orenthal, Rufus, Clyde, Theona, Pookie, El Dopa, James and the Giant Peach, Hezekiah Walker Williams. Versus 50 cents. Bailiff, can I please see this woman birth certificate? (laughs) Because I refuse to believe all that is on that lady birth certificate. It is, is, and she is a woman. Listen, a woman can be named all those many names. Bartholomew. Wendy, Wendell, Bartholomew, Orenthal, Rufus, Clyde, Theodas, Pookie, L. Dover, James and the Giant Peach, Hezekiah Walker Williams. Now, you know I look up to this lady. Fucks with her. Better read. Go ahead. What's going on? Child hunt. Fifty cents stay at war with each other. Fifty cents stay at war with any and every damn body. So what? Being on God in his bonnet this week. (laughs) Child hunt. He was reading. uh, He had went up under uh, Remy Ma. Cause Remy Ma is looking thin these days. And he had went up went up under Remy Ma picture and said, "What's up, Slim? Damn Slim. Damn Slim. What?" And then Papoose came. Up under there and was like, what Papoose said? He said something about him growing up being immature. Yeah, Papoose read him back I and agree. they had went back and forth. So and then and how Wendy get it? You know, she she, she covered the story. She covered the story. And you know, uh, 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 Curtis don't like her. <laughs> so Wendy <laughs> sided in favor of Remy and Papoose and of then course. 50 felt away. Wore him out. So what 50, what, what we got what he said? What, she, what he said? No, he just, 50 said, said, We can't read it. Didn't I tell this bitch to quit putting me on her motherfuckers? It's so <laughs> he basically says she's the biggest side hole in the world. You the Most biggest famous. side hole in the world, bitch. Oh. I fuss with Wendy. Even when she fell out on the show that day in that green bunny, I was <laughs> fucking pray for her. What I did? Did. When she fell out of that green bunny, uh-huh. then she was up there oh, the show and she was spinning around like this, honey. She did a full split in that green bunny like that, But then that's how I almost did when we was trying to come on. <laughs> you did. And my ankle down here bleed and all that. <laughs> you did. I got a medic. My shit bleed. I got a medic I'm in the order. To, I'm professional. I'm trying to push through a pump. I got, I got a medic in the order. It's blood all down here to the pavement. <laughs> well, listen. Fr- listen. 50 Cent and, and, and Bartholomew is free to go. No, we want to Because I like that girl. They, free, they just now, girl, this shit right here. Oh, yeah. girl, this WS Trina, this WS is in. Bitch, Jack O'Drive. This Belkis Naray. Belkis Naray, okay. Craig Stevens. Yeah. That's Miami. Oh, Lord. Baby, we got some Miami news, and how it wouldn't be, no, it wouldn't be, be right if we didn't have 
WSVN Channel 7 is like the news station uh -huh. in Channel 7, and I hate that this says an Ohio restaurant owner has just been arrested for capturing street birds and serving them as chicken dumplings. Uh -huh. Now don't sit up here and act like y'all ain't ate no motherfucking street bird from oh, goddamn God. eating your give no summer haunting up them. That bitch, that's bigotry and that's racist. I don't give a fuck. Don't y'all sit up there and act like they eating your homesick on pop pop. Bitch, general sauce chicken. <laughs> ain't no fucking serve y'all no pigeon and rice. Don't y'all act like that. And second of all, don't you sit there. Second of all, General Souls chicken is um. <laughs> First of all, don't you act like that y'all don't see motherfucking King Roy I one down here, one up. That is that Photoshop. No. That's that bitch eye. That bitch crazy. She don't know the difference between But I'm going to tell you something, bitch. Them eyebrows is done. They done, but bitch, let me tell you something. She don't know the difference between a pigeon and a chicken. She can't hardly see that shit. You well, don't see that. Let us see the bitch. Oh, God. Let's let us see it, the Let video. us roll that bean footage. Bitch, now you know goddamn where well that lady okay, been doing this. Okay, now hold on now. For me, the evidence is circumstantial. <laughs> because I, I need to see the video of her taking these birds back to the restaurant. How we didn't know she took them back home and put them in this apparent key? That she is the owner of the restaurant. Okay, but that don't mean she can't have pet birds and parakeets. They found them birds beaks and feathers in there on the floor, girl. <laughs> Show me that part. They don't got it, but I believe we, we, we it. Have to, wait, hold on, girl. That circle, we finna have to dismiss this case. No, she not get dismissed. You see that bitch out here hold and I up here, bitch? We finna have to dismiss this case. She ain't get dismissed. Her eye down here, one eye down here, and another then eye Then we have to reduce this charge. To what? To uh, To kidnapping. Listen, every black motherfucking person in here done had some pigeon and rice, whether you know it or not. <laughs> no, I had a pigeon pea. <laughs> yeah, you had pigeon peas and pigeon and rice. <laughs> Covered in hot and spicy sauce, bitch. Don't act like that. So what is we With charging Edamame. this lady on? Who? What is we charging this lady on? We let her go, because, bitch, we all eat that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Next case. <laughs> She kicked that child with so much freedom. Hey. She kicked that child with so much non-fear of recourse. White privilege. White privilege. That is the best word. She kicked that child just knowing 
nigga, I'm going to kick this nigga baby. And get away with it. And ain't a goddamn thing going to happen if that man hadn't no turned around and sucker punched her child. And I'm going to tell you, here, 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 here is the deeper thing for me. What was the story that was now told to this young child when he gets home? And this is particularly sensitive for me because I just recently left Mississippi and my daddy told me a story about when his granddaddy had to beat the shit out of him in, a, in front of a bunch of white people to save his life. I saved that story for another time. But I'm going to tell you something. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel about it. White people, something is the fuck wrong with y'all. Y'all don't bump y'all goddamn head in 2018 with the bullshit that y'all goddamn doing. You calling the police on people for no goddamn reason. You picked up your goddamn feet. Let me tell you something. I used to kick my little brother, sister, my cousin. My grandma used to beat me in my neck with a switch. And this is what she said. Feet is made for walking. <laughs> Feet. Even though I kicked them with one foot, my grandma had an eighth grade education. Feet. Feet is made for walking. Your feet is made for walking. And it's like, I don't know what to feel because I'm feeling like that black, that man black car should have invoked and he should have yeah. slapped the shit out that goddamn He should have hit that bitch on, okay. on, on the flip side of he things, then, you got this, you, your, your door, it, I don't give a good goddamn he was black, bitch. That's our brother in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's a children's fight. You picked up your grown feet, and I'm going to tell you something. D.L. Hughley said something that was feet. It's made for, for walking. Walk. If you don't take nothing else away from this episode, it's Hashtag feast. It is made for walking. Lottie Lewis, my grandma, God rest her soul. But D.L. Hughley said something that stuck with me. And he said that all black people want is to be treated fair. And for you to innately lack the ability to treat black people fair means that by nature you feel they're inferior. Right. She would have never kicked that child had he been white. No, she wouldn't. She just wouldn't have. But, was, but because she was white, that black man ain't came now up here's what, But here's what we need to do. Just like we found Coupon Connie and Poolside Patty and all the rest of them, I need y'all to find this pilgrim job and get that whole fire from Little House on the Prairie or Oregon Trail or wherever the fuck she working at. <laughs> this okay? I need that whole fire and I need her name. So we're going to table this case the next week until we get her name. Yes. And I'm going to subpoena her supp uh, uh, employer. And, and it is so. Next case. Next case. Yes, All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up, we almost done. The daughter kills a father. <laughs> daughter kills father after discovering his child porn collection. Daughter kills father after discovering his child porn collection. You ready? Uh, yeah, I just would have dismissed this case. Free to go. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you. Thank you, girl. With a certificate from, from the, the county, county, the city, and the state. Right. And you get free housing and free lights for the rest of your okay. life. <laughs> All right. There we go. Rats are found in the Baltimore market. Girl, what y'all got going on in there? Now, listen, I fuss with Baltimore, but where this place is? I ain't never been here. Girl, that's Lexington Market. Where the... That's what, Craig? Lexington. This Park. ain't where the Housewives of Potomac is, is it? No, that's Baltimore. <laughs> Girl, that's what they say. They Let us roll that bean footage. <laughs> Just grab him by the neck. Come on, Come on, Come on, I'm proud. That motherfucker's a nibbling. That look like Danny. Okay, so listen. Um, I'm suspending all testimony, and I just strike to uh, immediately condemn. First of all, we got to shut that whole place this down. down. Right. Not just they booth. Everybody, everybody every, booth. Everybody <laughs> in there. That See, they don't fuck the around and fuck it up for everybody booth. B-O-O-F. Booth. Okay? <laughs> Them hoes done fucked it up for everybody <laughs> booth. I sentence everybody in there to go get their sir safe certification. Updated. Get their OSHA training updated. I want them hoes to even go get a daycare certificate. Yeah. Just because, bitch. bitch. Get the um, fuck. And condemn for 90 days until we get a full cleaning and then expect it by the health department. And never open again. Next case. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we want to give a congrats to Cardi B for naming her baby, for, for having her baby girl. I know y'all think that we are here as biased at, 
Cardi B because we support Nicki Minaj here. Mm -hmm. But we want to give congrats to Cardi to Cardi B. The baby's name is Culture Kiari Seth Cephas. Cephas. So Cephas the last name? <laughs> is that Young Bloods last uh what's that one name? Offset. Offset. <laughs> Culture <laughs> Kiari <laughs> Cephas. So you know as much as you want your child to get head ahead, you just <laughs> sent this child back by birth. You know what I'm saying? Like, you already like 10 steps behind. Uh -huh, girl. <laughs> Not me, girl. <laughs> like, um, here's what I'm gonna need. The you baby's to call name it. is Culture. We're going to call Kiari it Cephas. We, I move that we amend the birth certificate to KK Cephas. KK Cephas? KK Cephas. I don't like that, I don't like that last well, name. But, but you can't undo that. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> I don't like that. Because the Cephas part is what's working me. Because it's, 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 you know, it's, the, it's the culture key. Out. It sound like pus. It sounds like, like But you can't help you you can't you have to honor your last name like though, you know. <laughs> you can't you can't help what that is. Okay. So KK Cephas, amend the birth certificate to KK Cephas and a seventy five dollar fine for wasting my time. <laughs> All right. <laughs> next case. All right. The next case here is the amputee stabs a tourist. God damn it, what the fuck is blowing? <laughs> now here's what's sad, Maddie, you might not believe me. This man is so talented. He works on South Beach. I actually seen him about a month ago. He's a, he's he uh, he sits on the sidewalks and he draws with his feet. And the tourists put money in a checkers cup. Okay, where's the rest of his photographs? Is there no more? Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, well, this well the is man doesn't do. have any arms. This well, he he has no arms, and apparently he stabbed a tourist in Florida. But I move to dismiss this case because too. for anybody who to sit back and let somebody with no arms stab them, <laughs> you free to go. We deserve it, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Next case. All right. Now the last thing that we, the last thing that we have here on the court ledger is we, you know we always close the show out with one gotta go. Now in this in this part, I'm gonna give you a piece of paper. Doniva, and you were gonna write it down. Mariah. Hold on, no, it's not that. It's not about the artist. It's about the song. Oh, the song. Okay. Uh, the song. Oh, good bitch. It was already. It was Mariah, honey. All right. Have it up. <laughs> now, can you go? You use your red. You know, use use a, you red or black. Okay, you go to black. All right. So the songs that are up now. These songs. Our, were, these were number one hits. These were the biggest hits, please. We were the biggest hits and stuff like that put us side by side. The song was from Michael Jackson, You Are Not Alone. The song from Whitney Houston is, I Will Always Love You. The song from Prince is, Purple Rain. And the song from Mariah Carey is, Vision of Love. Good night. Mariah. We're going to give you guys 10 Mariah. seconds. Well, for about 15 Mariah. seconds. There we go. So the song for me that can go and never ever be played again on the radio is You are what? Oh, what? 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 Oh no. This oh. is the one for me that gotta go. No. <laughs> Purple rain. Purple rain. It gotta go. Listen, I can do this. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, oh. 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 Alright, now Nadiva, which one did you choose? So my first one up was gonna be that Michael Jackson, You Are Not Alone, because I just don't fuck with that or Mar Lisa Marie Presley in that video. But then you call something that wears my nerve even more. What? Uh, Hold it to the screen. Whitney. What? Whitney. Are you Whitney. crazy? Are you I hate. Uh, I will always love you. Oh no. I hate that song with every. Fiber of my being. Oh no! I just don't like it. All right. Well, for me, it was for me, ladies and gentlemen, it was Purple Rain. For Daniva, it was we. We are all entitled to our thing. Audience, what? Who was it for you guys? Michael. 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 Michael.
Mariah, 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 you mean to tell me y'all would let visions of love go? I had a vision of love. Treated me kind. Sweet destiny. Carry me through desperation. And then you came and put big dick in me. Ooh, I'm in love. Okay. Still I have a... I can hit that note. Sorry, niece. <laughs> okay, so for me, our vision of love stays, and I'm not even a huge Mariah fan because I'm, I, bitch, because Whitney was and always will be the voice. And a oh, Period. 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this has come to the conclusion of our show. We'll be doing the after show, honey. I'll have to give Dodonniva 20 extra dollars for doing the after show. The after show will be held on my Instagram at The Real TS Masters. Dunn, if you going to go live on your Instagram? I can. Okay, well, and on Dyneva's live, but you know, well, no, we can stick it to it. Okay, that's fine. They fine. be stealing my shit. Okay, that's I'm fine. Gonna, I'm going to terrorize them hoes, bitch. So, and, no, and do not forget, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that our. Can you just cash out me my money, though? Ooh. Girl, you, you get up, that get up, you use cash out. Ooh, well, honey, I, well, honey, listen. I pay cash. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> please, yes. ladies and gentlemen, if you are in Atlanta, do not forget that the Queen's Supreme Court will be live August Six at Club Truth. Yes. The tickets are available on Eventbrite. Twenty-five dollars for regular, forty dollars for VIP. Bitch, it's gonna be food, drinks, good times. If you ever want to sit in the audience with me and Tiffany Parlor, and don't even make get you down here to come on through and be like, man, it's late. If your cash app work. I, before we get out of here, I'd like to give a special shout out to the people Go. who came and supported me. Miss Ebony Cabell, Miss Katrina hold Hughes, on, on, Miss Rocky on, Reed, Miss Asia, my friend Tanya who couldn't be here, my best friend Jonathan Blunt, um, and everybody else. Side the by side. funky bunch. You know, I stayed away from naming my supporters until uh, one of my great supporters came through. It was like the funky bunch. And I love it. Like Marky Mark and the funky bunch. So I love everybody who supports Funky Dineva, my funky bunch. The Maddie Mob, thank you so much for oh, having Oh, listen, thank you so much for coming throughout all the controversy and throughout all of the things that we've been through this past year, you know, with the, with the Queen's Supreme Court and this and the other. I do thank you because you and I had a very long talk and you... You had reservations on coming, but this is a great show. It is. Listen, the storm didn't stop us. Pass. Listen, we the told storm the storm to pass. Hey, like, it was my singing. Yeah. Your dad's brought it, but my singing got us through. Eat a shandara bush, uh -huh. eat a yeah, 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 yeah. Now, somebody kept me the urgent cat because my legs still down here. We're going to get you wrapped up. I got two trays in the audience that will wrap your toe up for you. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the Queen's Supreme Court on August the 6th will be loud, live, and in color at Club Truth. Get your tickets on Eventbrite. I'll be posting it on my my Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, and all of those things. Craig, everybody be posting it. All right. And, ladies and gentlemen, thank you to our sponsors, The One Seafood. We're going to eat that live. Dondiva already ate her plate. And for Get Lit, make sure you guys are getting lit, lit by choice. The two drinks, this is the Maddie, this is the this is the regular, and this is the Maddie Mob, bitch. If they're both good, use hashtag Maddie Mob, bitch, for discount. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it was a good show. We'll see you on the after show. Bye. Bye, everybody. Was it a good show? That was amazing. Bitch, and I look good. Yes, you do. Holding on. Ow. We still like, hey, we talking shit. We holding on. Because the love is strong. That's no lie. Holding on. Hey, hey.